Okay, go Olivia. You first, me second. Welcome back. Our episode of Aaron almost forgot to bring Olivia to gymnastics. And she reminded me when she came upstairs. So it is now Saturday morning. And Olivia, you forgot to unlock the car. Or unplug the car, really. Hang on. Uh-oh, will it even work? It worked while we were on the phone. So Liz is back. She's doing good. There's obviously some pain and discomfort and all that stuff. And we were up pretty much all night, back and forth, trying to... I hear you, the goat. Uh, what's his name? Mufasa. He's the loud one. He's the he's very the loud one. He's the one that sounds like someone's screaming. Yeah, he's the screaming one. Yep, no, that doesn't work. Can't put, oh, I need my wallet. That's what we'll do. Hang on. We're gonna, we're gonna ride and talk, Livy. Actually, what do you want to talk about? I don't know. You don't know? Yeah. Oh, you just want to eat your scrambled eggs? Yes. Yeah, with your cheese? There you go. And my mild swanky sauce. Oh, and what do you have on there? Mild swanky sauce. A mild swanky sauce. And how old are you? Nine. Nine. Hear that? The nine year olds love the mild swanky sauce. Do any of your friends. Yeah. Um, wait a second. Some of your. Wait, that's not a good angle. Some of your friends eat swanky sauce? They, um. Eat swanky sauce and, and um. They. Everyone, like, in my class eats Takis. Takis? Ugh, those are gross. Oh, have you ever had them? Uh -huh. Takis, you have? Yeah. Okay. And are they good? Like, do you like them? Kind of. Oh, okay. I thought they were disgusting. Let's see if uh, we can get out of here. Been having some difficulty with the gate. Ugh. Not to. Not, poop on our not doing the uh, automated open for the drivers on the way out. Bird, poop, bird, bird poops? Poop. Oh yeah, lots of bird poops. That's okay. So mom's good. She's got her breakfast. She's got her medicine. She was able to make it to the bathroom. That's all the stuff that's really hard. After surgery, barns are definitely not done. They're gonna, girls are gonna have to stay in. It's gonna be an ugly day here at the farm in Connecticut. We have beautiful tree color which you might see out the window here. Oh, look, it's gonna come up real nice and red right here. Watch this, ready? Just keep looking here. Look at that, look at those colors. Look at those, see? It's like prime leaf peeping season. At least that's what the Weather Channel says. Today, we are drinking... Coffee. Yes, coffee. Chaos. Uh, chaos. Uh, chaos coffee, correct. Um, what kind did I go with though? I don't remember. Coconut cream. No, mom's not a huge fan of coconut. She likes coconut cream, but I went with something else. Chocolate almond. There it goes. Mm -hmm. Ding, 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 ding. Chocolate almond. Olivia, we need to get you in here. There you go. Hi. So why are we doing gymnastics on a Saturday? Because I missed two days. Because you missed two days. I like. I've been doing um, gymnastics for Saturday for Saturday for two weeks, Saturday makeup. I was in the kitchen getting mom ready, getting her things, and I'm like, Olivia, why are you in a Leo? And she's like, because we're leaving for gymnastics soon. And I'm like, oh, I totally forgot about that. I might have Grams come get you for the end of gymnastics, but I don't know. I've got to get the barns done. We actually have to get- I don't get... think she knows what um, time. It's, yeah, we'll figure that out. We'll, well, we'll figure that out. Yeah, we'll see if she can do that, if she can coordinate that. How are your eggs? Good. Okay, good. What do you think about um, the social media effects on society? Huh? I don't know what that is. You don't know what that is? Okay, so it's funny. Tyler and I printed out a list of 100 questions you can ask somebody else to, like, get to know them. And that was one of the questions on the list. I was like, oh, that's funny. What are your thoughts about social media Ooh, and its effects on society? I'm like, that's a weird question. But, you know, I get it. What else are we going to talk about? I don't know. You don't know? Yeah, I don't know either. I really don't. I do have other videos I'm working on, some of which are taking lots of editing, like the boat show when Liz, myself, and Tyler went out to Newport. Still have not edited that. Maybe I'll do that this weekend. It's gonna be a quiet weekend. 
with mom um, recovering. Do something with cans. Oh, it's cans. Okay, there's this fun little game where you take your dining room table and you put like tape on your dining room table basically to make it like a football field think about it like you know you have the 50 yard zone the 40 30 20 whatever and if you fall off the end of the table you lose and you take like a can of corn or something or you can even use a ping pong ball or a golf ball you can change it up and each section is a different prize so you can put like Candy. candy in some sections you could put and at the last section put, there's money and in the last section there's usually a dollar or two or five or whatever and you roll the can and wherever it stops that's what you win it's like a little fun family game um, we did it like a couple of years ago we did yes it's been a couple of years and, and it Olivia was like, wants to it do was it again. snowing um at it that was, time it was so snowing was you're one, right there was a note that said um you have to stand in the snow with your bare feet for 10 seconds. So there were some sections that are bad. So if you get them, it's like, There's oh no. There's a hot sauce one. Uh, oh yeah, eat hot sauce. And they, you know. I landed on that one twice. You landed on the hot sauce one twice? Uh -huh. What hot sauce did you have to eat? I don't know. Did we just do swanky sauce hot? <laughs> we might have. Who knows? It's just a family day. That's what it is. Not really a farm day. Other than I got to get the barns done. And then also getting the barns done after that, I have to move all the hay. All the hay's got to come out of that that container. But I know he's not coming on Sunday to deliver new hay. So I might just do all that tomorrow because it is going to rain today. And today's like movie day for Liz. Like it's just veg out, watch Netflix pretty much all day. She does have to get up and down like every hour, keep blood flow. We got compression socks and all that crazy stuff and we got ice going back and forth every 20 minutes and like four different rounds of meds throughout the day like it's just all that constant you know stuff but right and I think later today we're gonna unlock her brace currently right now her brace has her leg perfectly straight we're gonna unlock it so she can actually bend it she is not allowed to go past 90 degrees so no squatting that's going to take like the toilet is as far as you can go and even our toilet I think when you sit on it your knees are past 90 I don't know I don't know I actually got to look into that to see if I gotta put a riser on the toilet because right now she just puts her leg out straight because it doesn't bend anyways but we might have to look into that I didn't even think of that until just now oh, and then we got to get back to painting fencing which we started boat will be some of you were right you put it in the comments guys like Aaron winterizing a boat is no joke like just have the professionals do it you got too much going on so you're right I did I signed up for a date in early November to have the pros winterize the boat I gotta drive it all the way up there and then I gotta waste two hours while I'm there two or three and then drive it all the way home and it's an hour so this is gonna be a five-hour day Maybe I'll find something else to do up there. Cause I'm not, I don't want to drive up, drop it off, turn around, come back. I don't want to do all that. Yep. What are you going to do at gymnastics today? I don't know. Basket weaving? What is that? <laughs> not gymnastics. Oh, speaking of that, ready? Let's call out the audience. Ready? Here we go. Olivia, you want to do something fun? This is what we're going to do for fun. The first person to email us, you know how to get a hold of us. If you don't, this challenge is not for you. The first person with the skills, with a sewing needle and some thread to email us that wants to help Olivia save her koala bear because its head is falling off. Can you tell us about your koala bear? So I have a koala bear and it has two children. It has two and, children? Yeah. Oh. And um, his head is almost off okay and has um it been attempted to be fixed before no yes yeah. it actually has somebody attempted it once and that did not work so you need a professional koala bear surgeon your hand is on the my hand is on the oh okay <laughs> so you need a professional koala bear surgeon to help you with this repair okay who out there wants to help with this repair Shoot us an email. If I get more than one surgeon request here, we'll have a backup team. She might have a second 
Do any of the other family members need surgery? I don't know. She doesn't know. But if we find another one that needs surgery, we will, at our expense, mail it to you. You can fix it, but you'll have to mail it back. I might be able to do a paid return label in the box. But those are hard because when I do that, they only have a time limit. And now I'm putting too much pressure on you. Like, this paid return label only works for two weeks. I don't want to do that to you. So if you're interested in fixing and saving the koala bear, put it in the uh, put it in the email, and I'll uh, I'll get something out. I'll, I'll ship the koala bear to you. At least the fluff is still in there. The fluff is still in there. She said, "No fluff. There's no blood transfusions. No fluff transfusions needed. We don't have to call the Red Cross and get some extra fluff delivered. You should be good with just some sutures. Um, no anesthesia required. It's going to be local." And uh, you could attach its head back. You're good? That'll work? Okay. That's going to be the end of our video now. Koala bear to the rescue. Village to the rescue, koala bear. Olivia, do you think anybody in the village is going to help save the koala bear? Yeah, because remember when um, someone um, gave me that O? Oh, yeah. Somebody knitted the O. Yes. I think I even know who did that. If I remember correctly, that person's name starts with an R. Just saying. Yeah, there you go. Koala bear savior might be on the way. Okay, there you go. You guys now have a challenge, and we will talk to you later. Bye. Bye.